up guys and welcome back to another one we're actually on our way to the farm almost there boy howdy we have got some rain in the last couple days holy smokes literally all of the fields are completely full it is insane I'm sure a lot of you that are from the Midwest are experiencing a ton of rain as well. It has been widespread and we've got a lot this spring. But this is a little unusual. I never asked you guys to do this this early in the video and I haven't in a long time. If you are new to the channel, before we get hunting the farm here, you need to subscribe and you need to hit that notification bell right down there in the corner. Well, here we are on the farm. But guys, you have to subscribe because we're coming at y'all with like five videos a week. Oh, got a little feed mixing action going on here. Getting off chunks of it with the old bell spears. What he's going to do is lift it in here and drop it in the old mixer. There he goes. to Jordan for getting the shot of the day there. Well, check it out now. Now he's getting chocolate from the chocolate pile. A lot of you have seen that chocolate pile. And that right there, fellas and gals, is a full bucket of chocolate and sugar. Well, 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 we got the old shotgun and she's ready to roll, let me tell you what. But I wanted to show you a little bit of the mixing uh, operation that they got for all the dairy cows here. If you're new to the channel, like I was saying earlier, this is a dairy farm. It's where Jordan and I come a lot. Well, it's actually where I come with Jordan a lot to shoot starlings. Oh, yeah. And whatever else happens to be legal at the moment. Yeah. Like pigeons or Eurasian doves, we still haven't shot a Eurasia out here, but dude. they're here. They are here. Now. We just uh, got parked here. We just got done filming the little mixing operation that y'all seen. Hope y'all liked it, by the way. And if you want to see more of that stuff, drop a comment down below and let us know because we would be glad to show you some of the operations that they do out here on the dairy farm. But in one of our last starling hunts, man, it was dry out here. And I told you all that it was gonna be a big, big hatch coming on. It was just that time of year. Jordan was like, hey man, we should start seeing a lot of grayish, brownish ones. There are a lot of juveniles around right now. We just pulled up and there was a ton of juveniles. And they're dumb. Yeah, they're real dumb. They're dumb. I don't like that. <laughs> they, fly, <laughs> they fly close to the trucks and everything. Today we're gonna do a one hour challenge. The challenge is to get down 10 birds. Because for the last month here, it's been a struggle getting down 10 birds. I mean, it's been a struggle making a, a pile of 10, even with two guns. So, make a pile of 10 in one hour. Do you think it's doable? I'll make a pile of 10. Ooh. So, I guess it's gonna be a little bit of competition. We'll see who shoots the most. I, I don't feel as on my game right now, my shooting. I don't know. I, I feel kind of rusty. How are you feeling anyways? Uh, well, the Festiva made it through the water that you guys <laughs> yeah. saw. Well, okay, it made it through and then died and then restarted, so we're both feeling refreshed. Yeah, yeah. But the old Festiva, this is the duck hunting wagon right here. If y'all think I should get a Festiva, drop a comment down below. I would love to find one for a reasonable price. You've had yours for a little number of years, haven't you? Uh, not almost a year. Get oh, almost, almost a year? A year? Almost it's the a year. duck hunting machine, isn't it? It gets me everywhere. There's so much space. I can put everything I need to do a little one man. Oh, two yeah. Man. Decoys, and everything. I fill up once a week and I drive everywhere with it. Another reason why I need one because you know how much gas that bad boy chugs when we're scouting. Group of 20. Holy smokes. But real quick, before we strap on the old GoPros and get to sling and shot around here, I got to show you the Ducks Freedom bundle. The shirt, the hat, all one bundle. 35 bucks normally this would be a 50 dollars bundle but it's 35 bucks through the fourth july go get you one i will link it at the top of the description below one hour challenge here's the uh, box of federal premium my friend i'll make good use of it oh yeah big shout out to federal premium for always hooking it up with the ammunition all righty do you want to cruise around this side over here what time do we have here it, for not, let's start at 4 10 so as soon yep. as it clicks as soon as it clicks over to 410 is when we'll start this bad boy here. There, get him! Oh! Nice! You got him! That was a long shot. Nice! Yeah, dude, I was flooding over there. The old, the old Crocs, boy. 
Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> look. I was not watching where I was going at all. And I mean, it's like. <laughs> all right, screw this yeah. mess. Remind yeah. me of where those are afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I need to take my socks off. <laughs> I'm going to go take them off. Goodness. Oh, had to take the old socks off. Well, we weren't even 10 steps away from the truck. And we already got a starling down. Holy smokes. He's standing up right behind you right there. He's not dead. Well, there we go. First bird down. Jordan hit that starling. That was a good 40-yard, 30-yard shooter. Yeah, his first shot should have killed him, but I just flat out missed. Right? It happens. It happens. Oh, gotta love hunting the old farm. Uh, it never gets old, you know what? Nope. Never. Ever. So I'm back here like two, three times a week. Yeah. Jordan actually comes here. This is basically your second home. Oh, yeah. Has been for a lot of years, hasn't it? I was here in high school more than I was at home easily. <laughs> Oh, look at all the girls. Look at all the girls. Oh, food's on the way, girls. Food is on the way. They know it, too. Them girls gonna be eating good today. You wanna check the, let's check the shed real quick. Shade. Like yeah, shade, food. What more can you ask for? <laughs> they always come out too when we get right up on them. I mean, like literally, them. yeah. No, I'm not kidding you. Probably will happen. It probably will happen. I have something in my croc that's really hurting my foot. Me? No, nope, not. Nah. Right. Yeah, you went crockless. <laughs> went barefoot. You're going to have fun stepping through all this poop. Oh, oh, is that what God, that dude. Oh, that was, yeah, that looks real bad. Oh. Not that bad. <laughs> I grew up here. <laughs> I've had work. I, I, you know, there's always been them times when you're cleaning out your sewer system. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I'll God. Walk, I'll walk barefoot through anything here. Yeah. Human crap is totally different. Oh, it's the different. worst. Oof. Where you at? Hello. Hello. Nothing's home? Are you cereal? Almost. Had to try it. Had to get the old first crack of the gun going on the... Uh, ooh, that was a swing and a miss. Well, we have made it to the other side of the farm, as you can tell. Uh, we're going to let the uh, west side take a chill pill. We're gonna go over here and see if we can have any more luck. What are we sitting at right now? We're sitting at, man, 431. Oh, no. We've wasted a little bit of time too, I have to admit. We've taken, I don't know, probably a total of four shots maybe? Five think, shots total? Probably five, six. Five shots total, six shots total? I've only taken two uh, and whiffed both of them. But uh, yeah, which is still a better percentage than me. Yeah, that's why we made it today the 10 bird one hour challenge because I'm telling you, getting 10 birds down uh, during these summer months out here, it is hard. You just don't have the cold pushing these birds to feed like you usually do during the winter months. I'm telling you, these summer months, they're not pushed to eat. Food is the ingredients to any good hunt. Doesn't matter if it's duck hunting, doesn't matter if it's goose hunting, and it darn sure, oh, doesn't matter if it's starling hunting on the farm. It all relates, it's all about food. They're comfy during the summer. They see you from a mile away, they avoid you. But if you guys are enjoying the farm hunts, the farm vlogs with Jordan and I, you know what to do, smash that thumbs up button for you boys. It's not hard and it helps. Yeah, it only takes like literally, what is it, like point? No, I would say 1.5 seconds. There might still be one in here. Well, let's find out. This is the funnest part. This shed always holds birds. Usually pigeons. Yeah, except we killed them already. Yeah, we did. There goes one. Oh, there goes another one. Nice, dude! Oh. That's yes! <laughs> we got we dude, we got a Eurasian down. That is Eurasian. Woo! Yes, dude, it's been my 
literally what I've been trying to do for the last, I don't know how many videos, is get a Eurasian dove down. Collared, Eurasian collared dove, they're open all year. They're, they're actually an invasive species. First one down, baby. Woo! We don't have them in abundance here where I'm at. They're in Kansas a lot, but man. Oh, you got, there's your starling. Uh, that Eurasian is that you went ahead and yeah, I gotta find my Eurasian out here somewhere. I don't know where he went. It was a long shot. It was, a, it was definitely a send. Yeah, I touched him. And that was only a one ounce shot. Yeah, like, dude, that's only, these are only one ounce federal shells here. It's not like we're shooting high birds today. Just normal shells, and that was definitely a... Man, I don't know. That was... He found him? Dang, he went way farther than I figured. He's not dead. Uh, we're gonna have to fix that. Check that out. I have been talking about getting a Eurasian collared dove down for so long. Finally made it happen, dude. I can't believe we missed the pigeon though. And him. Yeah, we. It, how many I shots? I got the starling though. Yeah, you did get the starling. I got the dove. Yeah. But together we missed the pigeon. <laughs> but uh, that's gonna be some good eating tonight, boys. We got us a catch cook clean on oh, our hands. Yeah. <laughs> Eurasian dove, dove in general, is the best. Ha <laughs> ha, well, heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Finally getting it done with the Eurasian dove. It has been a long time coming to get that bad boy in the bag. There's another sparrow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh dear. Where's he at? Oh dear. Where'd he go? About right there. Oh, did you kill him? I don't know. I don't know if you killed him. Kill that one. Perched uh, prone little situation. There we go. Oh. Ah. Man, I almost did a. Oh, man. We're... Goodness. It got crazy there for a minute, bub. The okay <laughs> oh, your GoPro just took a poop. Jordan just capped a sparrow right there out of the tree, but we can't find it. Can't find it nowhere. It's a little bird in grass this tall. And I you mean, just hit it with a full choke at 10 yeah. yards, 15 yards. It wasn't there may not entirely. be any. There may not be anything left of the poor sparrow. It is true. <laughs> but let's uh, let's get a good time check here. We are not look on top of the telephone pole right there. 450. Oh, there he goes. Oh, is he dead? He's not dead, dead. I winged him. That was a shot, dude. Yeah. Man, man almighty, if you guys want some summertime shooting, wing shooting, oh, dead, woohoo, in the poop pond he goes, now they're starling down, that's six that birds, dead. that's six birds right yeah. there, we're definitely not going to be able to get him out of, that is a poop pond y'all, he, he, he's about 20 foot deep, we're not doing that, starlings are an invasive species, if you didn't know, now you know, that other one I winged went down right over here, didn't he? Yeah. Ooh, here's coming one coming at us. Right here. I'll make it rain. Dead! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Oh, uh, got my empty for me. Thank you, dog. Thank you. Oh, those are the shots. Just oh, like yeah. on the last pigeon video, those are the shots right there that keep you coming back to wing shooting right there. Oh, yeah. Dude, guaranteed. That was a, uh, what is that? What is it? Let's walk that off. 42, he should be right here. Oh, there he is. He's right under my darn foot. There he is. That was 45 steps. 45 steps yeah, is what you I, got? I marked your 41, that was another 40. So you're talking between 40 and 45 yards. He's probably, he's probably about 40 with this coast. Right, right. But those shots, guys, that right there is a reason why I will never, ever, and I swear by it, I'm telling you, I will never take out my full choke ever again. Man, oh, Jordan got one down. I think that is eight birds down total so far. If you can see that, it is 5.07. We got three minutes left. That is it. Oh boy, howdy. Well, time is up. The one hour challenge is over. It pretty much went exactly how I thought it was gonna go. Really? Yeah. I really thought it was gonna go a whole lot better. You did? I, you I thought really so? I really thought I was gonna shoot 10. 
Oh. And I got nowhere close. <laughs> but this is our pile today. Extra proud of the Eurasian dove. That is a collared dove. Check it out. Check out the collar just so y'all can see it. And then we do have four starlings. We lost one starling in the poop pond. We lost one sparrow in tall grass. We lost another starling in tall grass. And Jordan actually lost another. Uh-oh. Missed it again. Actually, all in all, we shot nine birds. One shy of the ten bird goal in one hour. But this is all we could find. Right, right, yep, right, right here. But we're going to get home and we're going to cook this bad boy. I have waited to cook a Eurasian dove. Well, we got the old grill fired up. What are we sitting at? 375 on the old Green Mountain. But what we're going to do is right here we got some of Jordan's seasoning. Check that out. I wish we had it for sale in a website, but we're just not there yet. But check it out, we got both beautiful dove breasts. Check that out. We're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of seasoning on this bad boy right here. And we're just gonna cook them straight up. No bacon, no, no, no anything special. Just straight up Jordan seasoning on the old Green Mountain. Ooh, she's hot. Woo. Give this one a good old dashing. Oh, yes. And make sure they're topped off. Now, we usually have bacon on these. We usually do them up, you know, this and that. But I'm telling you, Jordan's jerk seasoning. I'm telling you, Jordan, he's actually running the camera right now. Shout out to him. You old Hi. bearded fellow. <laughs> Big old bearded fellow. He makes this jerk seasoning. And when I can get this available to you guys, I'm going to let you know. Well, there we go. Check it out. All we cooked was two Eurasian dove breasts. That is literally it today. We're not eating a whole dinner. Jordan came over to the house. We've been actually out back calling. Calling geese. <laughs> that, that's exactly what we've been doing. Jordan was like, dude, I need to learn to call this season. I'm like, you know what? Yes, you do. Absolutely. So we've been out here doing a little bit of calling learning. But here we go. We're going to let them cool down just a little bit. And me and Jordan are going to do some taste tests on the Eurasian collared dove. Finally! But we do got the Eurasian dove breast ready to go. They are cooled off and they tasting good, I bet. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yep. So, Not to call, but I'm ready to eat something. <laughs> Jordan, he's like, dude, you got to teach me? And I'm like, hey, I'll teach you everything I can. As fast as we can, because the season's coming quick. It's coming. With, in. with lessers here in Kansas, you guys know we don't get honkers, we get lessers. That's why we sit out these big 50, 60, 70 dozen spreads. Got to have a lot of calling. Jordan's been wanting to call. I'm like, Jordan, if you want to call, let's learn. I need something to do in the blind, because you sit there and you look down, you look up like, okay, can't shoot yet. Yep. Oh, man. And I need something to do. Yeah, got to learn to call. So, on another note, you're raising dove. Ready? Oh, yeah. With no bacon. I can eat that all day long. Wow. I taste like straight up like we cooked it a little long. It tastes little, like thick beef jerky right now. To be to be quite honest, it tastes like jerky. It tastes like an overdone steak. Right. It, good call. It's good an overdone call. steak. Yep, it is, dude. I used to say that pigeon and dove were close. Dove no. better. Dove is like. Dove tastes like you bought it from the store. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it really does. Oh, you're done already? Yeah! That's good. <laughs> Woo-hoo! I'll tell you what. That dove was amazing. Come here. Come here, Frederick. Come here, buddy. Oh, what a good boy. You've been not so much a good boy lately chewing up everything. Huh? What do you got to say about it, huh? If y'all think Flair should come down here and do some dairy farm videos with us, you need to go over to his videos and every video we post, you need to spam them. Just spam them. Go farm hunting with Bobby and Jordan. Yes. That's all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say. Yeah, do it. Do it. Thank y'all for being here. If you haven't subscribed, you need to do so. Jordan, you'll see our both of our faces at least twice a week at minimum, but we're putting up four to five videos a week. So you need to turn on that notification bell right down there. Make sure you check out the Ducks Freedom Bundle. Oh yeah, shirt, hat, 35 bucks, $50 regular. Oh yeah. 
I'll link it down in the description. Thanks y'all for being here. We'll see you on the next one.